Today I will talk about LiPo battery voltage alarms. The small device helps you to protect your LiPo batteries from discharging. LiPo batteries are very sensitive to discharging. If you discharge them below 3 volts, they become dangerous. Which means that a discharged LiPo battery is dangerous to be charged back to its level. To avoid that, you need to use voltage alarms so that when you play with your toys you know when to stop. If your RC toy doesn't have an automatic voltage cut off. At some RC cars, for example, the power controllers can cut off power when they read voltage close to 3 volts. What if it doesn't? You should protect your LiPo batteries because if you use a balance charger they won't charge the LiPo batteries which discharge below 3 volts. So how does this device work? It has several pins for different LiPo batteries. LiPo batteries may have different connectors depending on how many cells they have. For example here I have a 11.1 voltage LiPo battery which means that it will have three cells inside. You can't see it here because it's covered. If we look at this battery here which is also 11.1 volts you can see that this battery is a package of three cells. Each cell would provide 3.7 volts and will have separate pins that go to those cells. So you can see here four pins for three cell battery which is 11.1 volt. If we look at a lower voltage battery which is this one for example 7.4 volts it will have three pins. This is why this device has so many pins and can support high voltage LiPo batteries. This device is not only an alarm it is also a voltmeter because it actually measures the voltage of each cell and the total voltage of all cells together. Let's see how it works. So if I look at a 7.4 voltage LiPo battery and plug the battery into this device, it will tell me the voltage of each cell and the total voltage of all cells. For all it will tell you the voltage 5.7 for the first cell it will tell you 2.89 and for the second 2.89 volts. As you can see this battery is discharged. It, its voltage is below 3 volts per each cell and uh, normally I should not use this battery anymore. The balance charger will not charge it. This is why this device should be used. You have a button here which will allow you to activate the alarm. If you push it, you will see the status of the device. Push it once and it will tell me that the alarm is off. But if you push it again, it will tell you the limit you are setting. Now the limit is set to 2.7 volts and the alarm will not go off because this is the limit for each cell and now I have the cells that are 2.80 volts. Let's set it higher than the voltage I have in the cells. Let's set it to 3 or 2.9. And you can see that the alarm has gone off telling me that I should stop using my RC toy because the voltage is going low. What happened to my battery here? Why it went slower than 3 volts? I made a mistake. I set the voltage to 3 volts thinking that if I come to that point I will be able to stop my RC toy. But we played with the toy for a bit longer and it was enough for the battery to discharge lower than 3 volts. Don't do that. What would you do in this case? Always set up the alarm higher than the allowed discharge limit. So 
in this case depending on how much power your RC toy is consuming you should set the limit a little bit higher for example 3.3 volts once it goes off you should shut off your RC toy and this way you would save your lighter battery